te tia te tā te nā tātou, e he kamā, nau mai haramai ki tēnei kaupapa whakairahira o tātou, tēnei mea, ko te hurihaka o te ao, tēnei ahau o tira tēnei mātou, e noho mātou raka ana, tēnei raki, hai whakanuia, hai whakamōhio atu ki au koutou katoa, ia haka mahi hai whakatika. Kia ora. Kia ora, Mananui. Thank you so much for welcoming us into the, our changing climate field trip. You've brought us all the way up into the Maunga, the mountains. We've got the Rakaia Braided River here, and it's the perfect place to start our, our chat about climate change. That's right. You know, our climate's been changing for a long time, but it's steadily speeding up, and it's going to have an impact on everyone. But particularly in this area, it's going to impact mana whenua, isn't it? Absolutely, well, um, you're dead right. It's important to start these, these conversations at the top of the catchment, mai te uta ki te tai, and understanding the interconnectivity of an environmental process from the top of the mountains all the way to our, mo uh, our moana. Simply put, our environment is moving further and further higher into the mountains, and what we once knew in terms of our coastal living is completely changing. And so what does this mean? It means our par sites, it means our traditional dwelling sites are moving, it means our coastal erosion is destroying our, our urupa, our cemeteries, it means um, ad adaptation in terms of where habitat will be in the next 100 years is completely different as to where we know it is today. Yeah, because you might live a long way away from environments like this, but we need to think about places like this as well as our home communities when we're um, talking about climate change. So Māori held a whole lot of knowledge, mm. Matauranga, about the environment. How can that help us in trying to combat climate change? Well, I think the, the power of Matauranga Māori is this concept of Matauranga Tukuiho, this intergenerational knowledge system that's been handed down by our tīpuna, by our ancestors, to keep us informed to keep us safe, to keep us aware of the ever-changing processes that we see in the environment. And now is the time to start listening to those things because it's been happening for a very, very long time. Yep, it doesn't matter if you're Māori, it doesn't matter if you're Pākehā or Tangata Tiriti, this is our time to start coming together as one, to have these kinds of wānaka or these kinds of uh, workshops or conversations for us to grow. Mm. Yeah. Because Tataya, the environment, mm. supports us all, and if we don't look after that, it's not going to support us. Well, um, quite simply put, me na kaha ha te tuna ki te roto, kaha ha te reo ki te kaika, kaha ha te takata ki te whenua. If there is an abundance of, of, of kai in our waterways, then there will be a resounding education and language within our homes, and then the people will be connected to the environment. The environment is everything for us as humans. Hi, kia ora. Thanks, Mananui. Tēnā koe.